I'm Vanessa Joy here for Adorama TV and we are doing a beach shoot today. So we're here at Spring Lake, New Jersey Beach. It's a beautiful beach. It's not exactly noonday sun, but it's certainly not golden hour either. So I'm doing this shoot completely natural light, which goes in and out like you just probably saw, and using a handheld reflector. So the gear that I have today for this lifestyle shoot, it's of Malaki and her daughter. We are doing a bunch of different clothes. We have some outfit changes, all for the purpose of giving her content for her Instagram that she can use to promote her affiliate relationships with different brands. So it's a fun shoot, should be fun. We actually have a storyboard already laid out. Thankfully, she is super creative and super organized to make some my job really easy and I know what she wants because of this it's actually interesting some of the photos that you'll see on the storyboard that were popping up on the screen here they're not really my style uh, some of them are and some of them aren't but quite frankly oh well I'm here to shoot for my client this is a paying client it's not really about what I want it's about what she wants and expects and needs for her business her Instagram so I'm shooting today with I guess I'll show you my gear right um, this is my typical setup when I'm shooting by myself so I have the last light tri grip which is a great reflector for when I need to hold things myself this is my Kelly Moore shoulder bag I've had this thing forever I know Adorama has newer ones mine's super old <laughs> I have my, well not my, my borrowed Canon EOS R5. This is going to be great for me because her daughter is about two, three years old and she's going to run around like a Looney Tune and I'm going to have to really concentrate on interacting with my clients versus interacting with my camera and the autofocus technology, the deep learning technology in this camera is just going to do that job for me. So I'm not going to have to worry about it. I've got my 28 to 70 lens. This is a 2.0 lens really really versatile again for just chasing around a two-year-old three-year-old and uh, making it easy and I have my 135 with the adapter because this is an EF lens my 135 2.0 and I'll just switch back and forth between the two of these so that's what we've got in a meeting my hair <laughs> let's go shoot there is a chance they put these signs here because of me <laughs> I just, I really like those dunes. I don't climb on the dunes, of course, obviously. But this is one of the few places in Jersey where the sky meets the, the grass. It's really pretty. And when you okay. look at her, just like stick your chin out a whole bunch. Yeah. Hey, Mila. <laughs> and then look off like out that way. That's cute. Look at, look at Vanessa this way. Oh, that's cute if you hold her hands that way. And then just kind of like play, yeah, play with their hair, like soft smile. Now nah, hold both under and then just bend your elbows back a little more. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. And then look down towards baby. All right, we are halfway done. We actually only have two outfits, not three. So they're going to get changed into their second set of outfits. Honestly, I like the second set of outfits better and I wanted to push them because they're my favorite towards the end after Mila had a chance to loosen up a little bit because it's always hard photographing kids and I am not a child photographer by any stretch of the imagination. So it was a little bit difficult at first because the shirts had text on them. We wanted to see the text. So you have to work with that versus just letting them play and have fun. But these outfits, they'll be able to play and have fun. Uh, and just now she informed me that she also wants product shots of some of the things that were sent to her from the brand. So surprise, I will be doing product photography also today in addition to the lifestyle, which really is no big deal. Um, like I said, she plans a lot. She already has a setup shot in mind and she's really great at styling. So I don't have to think so much. So far the shooting has been okay i've definitely noticed having to go up or down in my exposure compensation because i am in aperture priority and the clouds keep going in and out uh, you know because i am switching from having the light behind to having the blue sky i can't just set it and forget it i do have to be very conscious of what my camera is thinking it's photographing and how it's changing the lighting and exposure and then you know make it do what I want because very often that's different but I do have to say it is nice shooting on the sand because you have a natural reflector I haven't had to pop out my reflector at any time uh, I did sit my bag on the sand at one point so let's hope yeah we should be good sand 
photographer's worst enemy. <laughs> so a couple things to note when I am shooting lifestyle meant for Instagram photos, I pretty much shoot everything vertical because vertical is gonna take up more real estate space on the feed on Instagram and it works really great in stories. I also crop everything fairly loosely, a little bit wider than I would because again, the Instagram crop isn't gonna take that, that two by three aspect ratio and it's going to make it slightly more horizontal. So just some things to notice about the way I shoot these uh, and what I keep in mind. It's not as tight as I normally would. I, I keep it a little bit loose knowing where these photos are gonna go. <laughs> she looks so cute. I love that hat. Can you put, can you touch mommy's hat? Pretend you're fixing mommy's hat. There you go. <laughs> Are you like oh, that's really cute. No, it's super adorable. I don't think you can see. That's really cute. Play peekaboo. Mommy's gonna play peekaboo with her hat. Ready? Kind of smirk. Yep, perfect. And then head down. <laughs> it's actually cute. Yeah, actually, you, I don't even think you have to lay. Just kind of sit. Okay. I'm gonna put that more in the shade. No, we're gonna make a thing. Next to me, though. <laughs> yeah. This, right, this is just needs to be our plan yeah. in general. <laughs> yeah. And tilt your head towards me. Yes, perfect. Nice. <laughs> That's really cute. Do you wanna put the sunglasses on? Is it too bright right now? There you go. Nope. Can <laughs> <laughs> you put some on? Yeah. Really strong. Ready? Oop. Put on your face. Chin up a little bit more so the sun hits your head. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. What does this go to? The same and then me and her is the same. That's her. Baby. How about this one? Where are you going? You gotta walk to the next one. Can I hold your hand? I know you're not seeing me pose a whole ton with this shoot because we're really just playing and having fun. But if you want some posing inspiration, you can head to the link below in the description to download my posing inspiration guide. Hope it helps. So <laughs> that was tiring. You know, it's funny. I always in my mind think that, oh, this is going to be a quick half an hour shoot, 45 minute shoot. And then it's just so much energy. But the easier part about jobs like this are that I only need, you know, five good images because that's what she's going to end up using as opposed to shooting a wedding and I need hundreds of good images to make an album. So I know we got it. I showed her pictures along the way always hard working with the younger kid because you tire them out and we have to concentrate more on her than can concentrate on uh, you know posing for the adults there but I think we got good stuff I think we got good stuff so excited to see this on her Instagram I'm Vanessa Joy here for Adorama TV make sure you hit like subscribe all of the things and I will see you next time bye